Many people believe the best workout is the one where you push as hard as possible. Heart pounding, sweat pouring, but is that really the most effective way to train? The quick answer? Not really. Your most effective training often happens in your target heart rate zone, where sugar and fat work together. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Ben here, and let's bend this question today. You will find this helpful, like and follow. It helps us reach more people. Now, we all see fat burn zone. We see cardio zone on watches and gym machines. But what's actually happening inside your body? Why are we having these targets? Well, your target heart rate zone is the level where your body finds its best fuel balance. A simple cue when you're exercising, you feel slightly breathless but you can still talk in short phrases. The scientific method obviously comes differently. Max target heart rate is 220 minus your age and the target zone for efficiency is about 60 to 80% of that. But why does this zone matter? Because of fuel switching and very high intensity exercises. Your body depends heavily on glycogen, which is our naturally stored sugar. You run out quickly, fatigue early and never fully excess fat at moderate intensity is slightly different. Sugar continues to provide quick energy, but fat becomes a steady, reliable source. So workouts feel smoother, you last longer, and you burn more useful calories overall. Now, intuitively, most people can recognize this. When you settle into a rhythm, not too slow, not too fast, the whole workout feels more manageable. Your breathing evens out, your movements feel natural, and you can keep going without crashing. Why? Because that's your target heart rate zone in action. And yes, the science supports this strongly. A classic journal of applied physiology study showed that endurance training can increase mitochondrial enzyme activity by up to 40% in weeks. What does this mean for us? More mitochondria, better oxygen use, better fuel efficiency, and better fat burn. So what does the science say about training in your heart rate zone? Bend it factor today, 9 out of 10. I think this is good science, strong evidence, and very consistent across studies. Now, if you found this useful, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next episode. This is Dr. Ben signing off. Stay well, stay curious, and keep bending those health truths until they finally make sense. I will see you again.